Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing what you guys have been waiting for. I'm going to be talking about skincare when it comes to weight loss. I'm going to go over some of the products that I have been using, that I have tried, and what my opinion of them is. I am a habitual watcher of all of the dermatologists here on YouTube and so I try to pick all of the treasure that I can from all of them to bring it straight here to you all. These are things that I'm loving. I will also tell you some things that I'm not loving <laughs> uh, just so that you guys can steer clear of that and hopefully save some of your money. Uh, I am gonna be breaking down videos today into multiple videos instead of one giant long video because that was at your request to try to keep things a little more organized to, and easy to find. So today we're gonna be going over skincare and in a separate video, I will be going over the process of me obtaining a compounded drug. I'm not gonna be using it. I did obtain it and I want to tell you guys what happened, how it went, what the process was. Uh, again, I am a Zet Bound girl, just so that you guys know. It cost me $25. Why wouldn't I? So we're going to go ahead and get started today. And this video, we're talking about skincare. Now, before I get started, I want you guys to tell me down below, what is your favorite skincare for firming your body and helping build elastin and collagen? I can't wait to see these comments. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Don't forget, there's also the content timeline as well down below. If you want to kind of skip ahead in different chapters, then feel free to do that as well. Today we're talking about skincare, specifically the skincare around what you're using on your entire body, not just skincare for your face, but your entire body as you are losing and or gaining weight. Now, I am not going over products that are, you know, I've looked at for safe for pregnancy. I know for a fact that some of these are not safe for use during pregnancy. So please always consult with your physician to make sure that what you're using is safe for you. You can also discuss it with your local dermatologist or whatever dermatologist you decide to watch on YouTube as well. <laughs> So today I'm going to be breaking this down into multiple different parts. First, we're going to be talking about exfoliation um, and we're going to go over some of my favorite exfoliation methods, some things that I've tried that maybe didn't work so great and some ways that I've shifted into since then as well. We're going to talk about moisturizing, uh, which is hydrating your skin, which is very, very important. We're also going to be talking about treating your skin. So different things and creams and gels and serums and devices that you can use to treat your skin as your collagen and elastin that make up your skin, both the structure and the flexibility is going to start changing as your weight also changes. Like I said, we're gonna be talking about elastin and collagen. You can think of elastin as really more like a rubber band. It is the flexibility of your skin to be able to shift and manipulate and change shapes and then also come back or expand. We're also gonna be talking about collagen, which is really more the structure of your skin. How is it all connecting? How is it all staying together? How is it going to stay strong, okay? So we're gonna be talking about different types of ingredients that can help both elastin or collagen to help benefit your skin and help it out a little bit. First thing that I'm gonna go over with like, you're gonna just roll your eyes at me because every single video I've told you all to drink water. <laughs> every single video I've said drink more water, you're probably not drinking enough water. I know that you're probably hearing it from all around, from your doctors, from other people, even maybe your own inner voice and saying, okay, I'm not getting enough water. You need to, need to, need to drink your water. Collagen loves water. Elastin loves water as well. So water in your body is just going to help support your skin try to come back to where it needs to. Now, all the products that I'm gonna show you today, there is no guarantee that any of these work. As a matter of fact, I've been trying a lot of them for multiple months, if not years, and I may or may not have seen any results at all. These are just my products that I have on hand that I've used 
or I am using. I want to be sure that I'm not promising any type of results from this for everybody. This is more of an education, uh, an introduction maybe to some products or like, hey, no, I, that's not going to be for me. I'm not going to buy that type video. It's more of a review video, which is something that I typically do a lot of. I review a lot of different products to say, okay, this is what it is, whether I liked it or not, and whether I think it's really worth you spending your money on. The second thing that I want to go over today is SPF. Now, I do not care if you guys are using a $40 bottle of SPF or you're using a $2.50 bottle of SPF. The thing that you have to realize is that UVA and UVB rays on your skin are going to damage your skin. That's all over your entire body. Those type of rays are what create sagging with your skin. They can also cut your flexibility of your skin. Realistically, when you think about on your body, parts of your body that are always covered up and shielded from the sun, I guarantee you that that part of your body that is always shielded looks a lot younger and a lot better than the parts of your body that are always exposed to the sun. So I know that this is another like, ah, uh, I don't wanna put on SPF, I don't wanna be reminded to do this, but SPF, unfortunately, is something that is needed specifically with it getting ready to be summertime. You guys running around with all of, you know, your shirt off and your swim trunks or your swimsuits need to think about how much of your skin is actually exposed to the sun. For me in particular, the insides of my legs are my, have been a huge focus for me lately that I know is going to be exposed to the sun when I'm wearing swimsuits. And I wanna make sure that I'm covering that so that I'm not counteracting the treatments that I'm trying to do to my legs to help buy sun damage. The next thing that I wanna talk about is another kind of, you know, hey, no brainer, it's number three, it's exercise. Yes, I know I'm kind of hitting like SPF and water and exercise and everything that people hate talking about and hate being reminded to do. However, one of the biggest things that I've found across all of the dermatologists that I have been looking at and other people who have had significant weight loss, I'm talking over 100 pounds, and being able to pull their skin back to where it's not sagging, it's not creping, it actually looks like it should be looking. They have all said that without exercise and building muscle, that that would not have happened for them. Now, if you need to know a little bit more about building muscle and ways to make sure you're maintaining your muscle throughout this process of taking drugs like Ozempic, Wegovy, Manjaro, Terzepatide, anything like that that is a weight loss medication, then I will link down below the whole link for this series and there is an entire video on maintaining muscle during this process. The other thing that I want to go over is with elastin specifically. It is a lot about your diet. So yes, we've been talking a lot about diet, exercise, drinking water throughout this entire process, basically. I know that I have at least through the Weight Watchers Clinic and also with my local endocrinologist because they want to know what are you eating, what type of things are you eating, how much water are you getting, how much exercise are you getting, and then they want to look at, based off of all that, how much weight I have lost on my terzepatide or my Zepbound along coupled with all of that because they're looking at it as an entire whole big picture, which is part of the reason that I like being treated by specialists like this that aren't just saying, oh, you didn't lose but a pound, so we're gonna go ahead and bump you up to the next level. Um, a lot of times if I say, hey, yeah, I had my Cosentix injection, I was sick this past week, I didn't get my exercise in, I know I wasn't drinking enough water, then they're gonna say, okay, this was just an off week, we're gonna continue with this level, let's try to get back into our routine. Um, I really appreciate having doctors and a care team that are listening to me as this whole approach, just because I wanna make sure that I'm not trying to race all the way up to the largest dose of the Zetbound that there is, which is currently uh, right now at the 15 milligrams, just because I know that once you get there, there's nowhere else to go. So if you stop losing weight at that point, you're just kind of SOL. You're stuck, you're at a plateau. Um, there's a couple of ingredients that I'm gonna put up on the screen 
I will kind of move this way so that I have a nice little block over here because uh, I know last time I had comments about how it was hard to see things that I was putting up on the side because there was things blocking it in the back. So I did move things back here for you all. I'm gonna put up a lot of different ingredients right over here that are all ingredients that I have found throughout all of the different dermatology videos, ingredients that I've discussed with my own dermatologist as well, as far as things that are going to help repair your skin. They're going to help with cell renewal of your skin. They're going to help with that collagen and elasticity of your skin. And so basically, even though I'm going over different products today, I'm going to tell you all that as long as you find something that you like to use that has these ingredients or at least part of these ingredients in it, then you're going to be A-OK. -okay. okay, this is not going to be like a make it or break it. You have to use everything on this list. So I will say that Bacuchiol and Retinol are both vitamin A's. So one is a plant-based, one is not. Um, a lot of people are moving more towards the Bacuchiol as far as a retin Retinol or Vitamin A, which is really just to help with the cell turnover of your entire skin structure. I have been using Bacuchiol on my face with a hyaluronic acid and a niacinamide for the past couple of months, and my skin has not looked better um, than it has on that. I will give a huge thumbs up to Bacuchiol on that one. Um, I'm also a huge aloe vera fan. I'm also a huge hyaluronic acid fan. I am big, 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 big into light therapy right now. Um, there's a lot of things that I want when it comes to light therapy. However, I'm just not pulling the trigger on buying it yet. I do have one device I'm going to show you all today, and then I'm going to talk a little bit more about that. Where I am located, there are even places that you can go to receive this red light therapy in their studio or their office or wherever they're set up. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of ads for it lately. I've not tried it yet. I'm more of like a, hey, I wanna do this at home type person. Uh, and so I have been looking into some red, red light therapy that I can do at home. I do have an infrared sauna at home. It is a infrared sauna blanket. I typically get in that and use that after I have been working out, just because as you all know, I have an autoimmune disease that affects all of the joints in my body. Um, and the infrared can help with, or is supposed to help, with inflammation and joints. And so I've really actually enjoyed that a lot. So I'm gonna start going through all of this and we're basically gonna cover, number one, we talked about exfoliation. I have a couple of products here and I'm gonna talk about exfoliation when it comes to in the shower. So this first one is a sugar scrub. I'm sure a lot of people have used this before. This one specifically has coconut oil, kale and clay, rosemary, jojoba oil, almond oil, and witch hazel. I personally really, really, really enjoy this one. It is a raspberry lemon and it smells absolutely amazing. My kids love this one as well. The thing about exfoliation is you're basically trying to get your top layer of dead skin off so that when you move over into your moisturizing and your treatment phases, those skin care can soak in better. That's the best way to think about exfoliation. When it comes to things like this, I have both the sugar scrub. I also have this one from the Bum Bum Body Scrub. And I'm trying to look. I will put up what their active ingredients are over here so that you can see that when I look it up. I've been using this one in the shower as well. It also is a little bit thicker. Also smells really great as well. I have in the past used a coffee scrub as well. Um, with the coffee scrub, it was in a jar like this, and then you had to add an oil to it. And so I was adding olive oil to the coffee. I believe there was coffee and sugar in it. And then it would get extremely, extremely gritty. But what you have to be careful about with this that I learned the hard way so that you guys can learn, um, when you have that ground coffee, I mean, you can even take your ground coffee from the morning and use uh, and mix in with this oil. However, when you're using this in your shower, you also have to be thinking about what's going on down in your drain.
and what's getting stuck in your drain. So my husband has now banned <laughs> coffee scrub with olive oil at our house uh, because he said he is not paying a plumber to come when this gets all clogged up. So because my coffee scrub is now banned, I have been using these two still. And when I say exfoliate, I don't mean just like, hey, I'm doing my arms. I mean, you're taking this and you're doing it all over your entire body. For me, I have a very large focus on my stomach, on my sides, on my inner thighs and here underneath my arms because that's where I'm seeing a lot of the skin as I'm losing weight start looking like it's getting saggy, it's getting crepey. You can see kind of like dimpling in there. And so I'm trying to work on my skin because along with exfoliation, you want to be massaging your skin as well. And we'll cover that when we get into the lotions. I did get these two items this past week. No, I've not tried them yet, but these are the ones that I selected. I did get this exfoliating glove from Kitsch. It's eco-friendly. You, It's very, very rough. I don't know if you guys can hear this or not. It's very, very rough to the touch. You're basically going to put whatever your soap is on here, and you're going to just rub your entire body all over with this. This glove is supposed to help you. It says it softens rough areas to promote fresh, smooth, and radiant skin. Um, it says that it helps you glide over hard to reach areas. It's a regular exfoliation to promote absorption of skincare products for increased benefits and may help reduce the appearance of cellulite. This is a plant-based rayon, just so that you guys know. Uh, it says one size fits most, and I believe you can also, let's see, it says hand wash and line dry, just so that you guys know. I also grabbed this one because it says it's an anti-cellulite body wash in a sponge. It has coffee extract and caffeine. So one of the other ingredients about kind of stimulating your skin is going to be that caffeine, which is why a lot of people are using the coffee grounds because there is caffeine in those coffee grounds. So I did get this one. It does not have actual coffee that's going to be coming out. It's just a coffee scent so that I still get my coffee scent when I'm scrubbing. Um, but this too is a very, very rough, rough sponge. It says that it contains coffee extract and caffeine known for their skin tightening and firming properties. Um, and so this whole thing, it just says thoroughly wet your sponge and squeeze to form a creamy lather, exfoliate and massage your skin to reveal soft, supple body. So this is probably going to be one of my favorites just because I don't have to constantly keep getting out a scrub and then going to a different part of my body. I can just have this one sponge and kind of go everywhere that I need to go, go in circles, you know, and still have the smell that I'm looking to have. Um, especially since my uh, coffee grounds and <laughs> olive oil have now been banned. Uh, I do know if you're not really into the sponges and the scrubs and having this you know, glove that there are different bars that you can get as well, both jukebox and also kitsch make, and these are not, these are not the exact ones. Um, I've used my jukebox one because it was also a coffee house vanilla scent. It has a scrub built into the bar. And so when you're scrubbing with the bar, you're also getting that exfoliation. And then Kitsch has a sugar scrub bar that I also have used. And then I just grabbed one um, that I had up there that was about the same size to show you all. Both of those are just a bar, bar soap that also has the exfoliation built into it. I, realistically, it does not matter which method you like, which method you choose, but you need to be exfoliating your skin. And the reason I say this is yes, you need the top layer of dead skin off for the other things to really work at their full potential. But you also, in the process of rubbing this all over yourself, you're also stimulating circulation within your whole body and you're kind of rubbing and massaging everywhere so that it's like, oh, okay, I don't need to sit here and sag. I need to be doing something. You're basically massaging your body in back into like, hey, we want to come back into a tighter shape. So after you've done exfoliating, then when you get out of the shower, you're going to moisturize, okay? And personally, 
I don't care how you moisturize. I don't care what you moisturize with. A lot of people are going to swear by different products like these. Um, the Palmer's has been a like big hit with people for years and years and years. I will tell you all that I use the Palmer's Shea, I think it's the Shea Butter, in a pump like this when I was pregnant and it did not do for me. Um, I did get this one that is their firming lotion that is a 48 hour moisture, uh, like with dermatology approved and it is a marine seaweed in this one specifically. This was not expensive just so that you guys know, this was probably my least expensive one. Um, but I love, love, love the smell of it. And honestly, they have on the back here that it says there's 98% skin firmness improved, 96% smoother with less dimpled appearance, and 98% more visible, tighter toned skin. So that's what they're saying about this. And honestly, for that and for what I paid for this, if this works better than some of the ones that I've paid a lot of money for, I'm gonna be a little upset. I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. But I will tell you all, there's some that I'm gonna show you that I paid a lot of money for that I'm legit just throwing to the curb. I know that a lot of the guys are just gonna like something like this, which is just a daily moisturizing lotion with hyaluronic acid and the um, ceramides. Um, it's very lightweight. I will say that this one soaks in really well and, ve and very quickly so that you don't have to wait to put your clothes on after you've put this on. And again, I'm, talk I'm not talking about your face. I'm talking about all over your body. I'm talking about everywhere that your body needs moisture so that it can try to tighten back up. You can use these, you can do, use lotions, you can use creams, or they also have sprays now as well. This is an Aquaphor, it is an ointment body spray. It says that it immediately soothes and releases rough, dry skin all day. Rough, dry skin, there we go, all day. My husband prefers this just because he does have extremely dry skin and even using lotions like this on a daily basis have not really helped him. So he does have to have something a little bit stronger to make sure that he is fully moisturized. Now, I don't have that problem, but I know that a lot of people do, so I wanted to make sure that I showed that. I also grabbed these, and these are what I've been using probably the most recently. These are the Medics 5.5. Uh, this is a retinol, and this one is a hyaluronic. So this one also has Sika extract in it that says that it will soften the look of scars and stretch marks, which I have a lot of those. So I'm using this one as well as this one that they call the Age Rewind Body Treatment um, just because the ferulic, I believe, acid says that it can promote firmer skin by t visibly, by excuse me, by fighting visible sun damage. So this one is probably gonna be more what I use during the summer when I know that I've been out even though I've put SPF on and maybe I got a little burnt. I'll be putting this on here to try to help with that. And speaking of sun damage and getting burnt, personally, I don't know that there is anything better than a really good al aloe vera. I was gonna say olive oil, <laughs> aloe vera. This is my favorite aloe vera, not just because the bottle is really cool, even though it is. Uh, this is an aloe 99% soothing gel. This is something that during the summer, I'm going to be using a whole, whole lot of this paired with this together just because I want to make sure that I'm not getting that sun damage to make the skin potentially be even saggier or not take in the treatments. I also when I was pregnant I used the aloe vera on my entire belly and and I felt like it worked better and helped better than the Palmer's oil that her palm, Palmer's uh, shea butter uh, pump that I had that was a cream. I'm just a really big aloe vera fan. I think that aloe vera helps a lot of different things. You can even use this in your hair as well. Um, and so always, always, always make sure that you have an aloe vera on hand, especially with the warmer weather coming up. Now that I'm going to kind of move more into the treat phase. So we went through exfoliation, we went through moisturizing, and now I'm gonna go more into the treatment phase. And this is really more of your oils and um, 
kind of all over body treatments, right? Things that are good for the entire whole. Now I've been using this one, it's almost empty. I think it's right down here now. This is the Polish Choice. It is a skin smoothing retinol body treatment. I have been using this one for a while and I really, really like it. Um, I've been using this on my legs, also on my stomach as well. I have seen a little bit of a difference with this, whereas other things I've been using, I'm, you know, I see that I'm moisturized, but there's not like really any change. And I do know that I've been losing inches because I've been measuring myself. And so I want to make sure that I'm also kind of tightening those inches as they come off. So I've been doing this every single night. It says it hydrates and softens, helps provide firmer looking skin and can, and can diminish the appearance of uneven skin tone as well. And this is for all the whole body. So the whole body, some other like whole body things that I've been using. Um, I showed you guys the bum bum earlier. This is the bum bum body oil for this to be an oil. It does soak in pretty quickly. So if you're more of an oil fan instead of a lotion and cream fan, and when you get out of the shower, you just want to put an oil on all over. Um, during the summer, a lot of times I'll also use the Avon Skin So Soft just because it is, uh, I can get it in a spray and it's an oil and it also keeps bugs away uh, and everything kind of stays really, really smooth with that as well. But this one is a good all over body oil for straight out of the shower. If you kind of want to hit, you know, two things in one. You want to you want to get moisturized. You want to have an, a treatment oil on there as well. And I will put right over here. I mean, this has caffeine in it as well, but I'll put their other ingredients right over here um, because it does say that it it will visibly firm and depuff um, your skin as well. So I'll put those ingredients right here so that you can see them for this oil. Again, it soaks in very, very quickly. That's my opinion. And then I don't have to wait to put clothes on or worry about what clothes I'm putting on and it's going to ruin it possibly. Um, whereas the next three that I'm gonna show you, I do have to worry about that. I have to worry about it a lot. <laughs> um, so I know that I've gone over castor oil with you all on previous videos. Um, castor oil is one of those things that is kind of like coming back full force lately. I have seen a lot of people using castor oil all over their entire body from their scalp to their eyebrows, to their eyelashes, to their stomach, to their legs, to their feet, just everywhere. And I know that there are a lot of benefits for castor oil. I'll put them up right over here. This is one of those things that you really have to watch getting it on your clothes though. It's not something that's going to soak in very easily and then you can just kind of be on your way. So I have to kind of pick and choose when I do my castor oil, um, but I do really like it. And I know that with me having an autoimmune disease that I have a lot of inflammation in my body that castor oil can also, one of those benefits was inflammation. And so I am about a little less than halfway um, down with the use of this as well. Another one that you have to be very careful with, but it is also very, very good, is the bio oil. This one specifically is more for scars, stretch marks, aging, and dehydrating skin. So again, this is going to be more for if you just really have super, super dry skin that the creams and other oils just aren't getting it, aren't hitting it. Um, bio oil for me also is something that I make sure that I use during the summers, especially again, if I get those um, like burns anywhere or if I get skin peeling, then I always make sure that I have bio oil on hand. This one has been really great. I just got this maybe two weeks ago. So that shows you how much I use this. Um, I will just kind of make sure that this gets anywhere and everywhere sometimes at night. I like the smell of bio oil as well. It just smells very clean to me and it's not like an overpowering fragrance like some of the other things can be. Um, and so I always have bio oil on hand. Now I told you all before that I had tried whole systems before that were a little pricey. Um, I'm going to show you guys one system that I used um, or brand, I guess I should say that I used that I don't know that I will buy the whole thing again, but there are some pieces of it that I would buy. I'm sure you all have seen these before. This is the Maylie's. This one is the B flat firming belly cream. This one is the B Foxy inner thigh firming cream. I also have the B Flex uh, lift and firm 
arm cream. And because we were just talking about the oils, I also have their Get Sprung, which you guys can see. I've used almost all of it in here. Uh, this is an Enriched Stretch Mark oil that is from Maylie's as well. Now this one I use probably the most after my second pregnancy, just kind of rubbing it all over everywhere. I had stretch marks out the wazoo. There was just really no helping it. Now these, I'm just gonna tell you all, this is my opinion. These burn, and I don't mean they're gonna burn your skin and harm your skin. I mean, as soon as you put these on, you're gonna start feeling it, and you're gonna wanna go wash your hands after you've put them on, or your hands will also start to tingle and burn. Um, again, I will try and find what they say their active ingredients are. I know on one of these, it just says it's a proprietary blend, um, but I will put it up right over here so that you guys can see what I do find on these. Um, I know that it just says that they're, you know, European, uh, from London, uh, you know, I don't, I don't really know. I will tell you that this is my second round of these, of using these. And I haven't seen a whole lot from this one. I'm just going to be honest. The one that is the B Foxy for your inner thigh, I've not really seen any kind of anything happening or looking better. Um, the B Flat Firming Cream, I'm one of those people where I can use it. And then I like hate how it feels trying to go to sleep with it on. And so then I won't use it. Then I'll go back to using it like, no, I've got to use it for it to work. And I also have not seen a huge difference with this either. I know that I'm sure there's a lot of TikToks and there's a lot of YouTubers that are just swearing by this. Uh, and maybe they use it multiple times a day, every day. I don't like the way that it feels on my skin. And so it's very hard for me to use it. Um, the only area that I will say, and this is might be one that I would repurchase. This is the B-Flex, the lift in firming arm. So I'm not as bad or I don't feel as weird with underneath my arm down here kind of burning and tingling. I'm okay with that. This is a super, super purple, and I mean purple, purple cream, and it goes on purple. Yes, I have gotten this on my clothes before. Yes, it did also come out for the most part. Um, but you have to be very careful with these as well as far as like what kind, you know, when you're putting your night clothes on, getting it on your clothes also. Uh, this is another one that you have to wash your hands after you've put it on or you're going to be sitting there with your hands burning and for sure don't not wash your hands and touch anything on your face because you will, you will regret it. You will be crying. Okay. Um, again, I know that a lot of people love these things like crazy. They've grown just uncontrollably probably in the last five years. So they have to have something in there that's working for somebody somewhere. It's just for me personally, I would rather use a really great cream and then turn around and use a really great retinol. And then if I still need to hit it with something stronger, grab an oil and go with that as well. Because the devices that I'm going to show you next are really the things that are going to change your skin. Okay, so first, when we were first starting out, I did talk about exercise, right? And I talked about hydrating your skin as well. This is my favorite, and I mean absolute favorite, workout cream. This is from Sweet Sweat. It is a workout enhancer. This is going to make you sweat more, makes me sweat a whole lot, wherever you put this at. It smells amazing. They have all different kinds of scents that you can grab and look at this. It's like a big giant thick block of coconut oil. It goes on so, so, so super smooth. It feels amazing. And then when you're done working out and you go take your shower, you can just feel it gliding right off. It's keeping your skin hydrated. It's while it's also making you sweat more, which is really kind of phenomenal, honestly. It's like a, how is this doing this type product? However, what I do, I use the Sweet Sweat Workout Enhancer and then I use one of their wraps. I have a lot, 
of them, just so you guys know. I have a lot of the Sweet Sweat wraps because my focus, like I told you all, is my stomach and sides. So I will actually use two of these wraps at a time. I will wrap one around my upper waist. I will wrap one around my lower waist. They also did just come out with a new one that is a natural rubber as well. Basically what you do, this is gonna also make you sweat a ton. When you take this off after you've been working out or after you've been walking around the house cleaning the house or you've been walking the neighborhood or you just wore it throughout the day just to try to sweat more, um, this coupled with their workout enhancer, this entire band on the inside will be covered with sweat by the time that I'm done. And it's really just kind of forcing my body to focus on that central area trying to cut from there and i have lost inches from my waist and my hip area and i personally truly feel like that's probably because i use these um, i really 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 like these i do not get overheated in these like i have in some of like the other kind of workout gear neoprene type whatever there may be. Um, Sweet Sweat, I have worked with them for years and years and years. Uh, they no longer have an ambassador program. However, I just love, love, love their stuff. Uh, Sweet Sweat is owned by Sports Research. Another item I'm gonna tell you all, so after you've been working out, and I've also showed you all these before on videos. These are called fascia blasters. And before I told you all, like I don't really care what you exfoliate with, what you moisturize with, which one of those active ingredient treatments you decided like, yeah, I'm going to go with retinol or yeah, I'm going to go with Bacuchiol or yeah, I'm going to just go with aloe vera, whatever you decide to use. These are what are going to actually help change whatever area you're focusing on. I have multiple of them, literally multiple. I have one that's smaller for the face that I use around the jawline, that sometimes I even have to use on the back of my neck, especially if I have a headache. I have this one that I make my husband do like on this wonderful like hump on my back that has come up since, you know, I've been gaining weight, which is just awful. I've also used this one underneath my arms as well, and I've used it on my legs. However, I have the larger mini paddle also. This one is probably my favorite. This is their mini paddle. You can see how many little like fingers that it has in here. This is the one that I've just basically been like going to town on my legs, all different directions, whatever way I can go. Now, when you're using these, you do want to make sure that you've, you're doing it after you've put on some type of moisturizer or oil that's going to help this glide right over the skin. So you can still push down, but it's still going to move and it's not going to tear or pull your skin in any way. So all of those oils that I previously showed you are going to be great. I know that they also have their own oil that you can get that is in a roller ball if you would like to use that. I also use this bigger one to do on my back on my sides, especially if I can't get my husband to help me for the night because he's mad at me or he's just like, no, I'm not gonna do that again tonight. Then I can take this larger one, just kind of grab both sides around, put it around my back and still do both sides on either way. I can do my whole booty if I want to, I can do my whole leg and it's getting more of an area and I have two arms that I can kind of go back and put more pressure on with this. Um, I have a lot of these because I really feel like these do work. Uh, like I said, make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure that you're putting on some type of oil so that it glides smoothly and it is not pulling on your skin. Um, that was probably one of my amateur mistakes when I first got those. Okay, uh, there's a couple of other treatment things. Same kind of thing. This one's more for the face. I've showed you all this guy before. Um, I believe it's called a gua sha rock. This is the one that this wonderful double chin that I'm trying to get to go away. I can take this, I can pull up this way, I can pull down. I've even been seeing people on Facebook like pulling up this way with it and then it lifts their eyebrow. This is basically just manipulating the fat, manipulating your skin to say, okay, wait, we don't need to just sit here and be stagnant. We're supposed to be doing something. Let's see what this is wanting us to do. Again, make sure that you put on an oil before you use this. 
I put on my, my face serum at night and then I kind of go to town with this or I have also been using castor oil on my face as well. Anytime I have castor oil on my face, then I am going to town with this little rock right here. It has helped a lot, mainly I will say with a lot of my jaw pain um, because I do grind my teeth at night and I have a nice little mouth guard for that night. But I have, you guys know, I measure. So I don't just use my Rimfro scale that I talk about every single video. I'm also using the Rimfro measuring tape. And this is getting smaller. Now, yes, I'm losing weight, but I'm also constantly manipulating all these areas and trying to target these areas to get the weight off in those locations. There's two other things that I currently have that I'm using, actually, sorry, three. This right here is a bio needle. If you guys look across the top, it has different numbers here, right? So I'm sure you all have seen these before. These are the micro needles that when you start, let me see if I can pull it up and then do my hand so that you guys can see it. When you start doing this, there's all these teeny tiny little micro needles in there. This is to help build collagen. Now, I got this one specifically because I know that you're only supposed to use so much for your face. So I use it across my forehead to try to make sure that I'm getting rid of forehead lines. I've also used it over on the sides over here. I need to start using it on my chin as well um, and whole jawline. But I got this one specifically because it does come out all the way to 2.0 and I can also use it on my stomach. So this I'm gonna start using almost like a stamp across my stomach so that I am micro needling my stomach before I put these treatments on. I have a roller upstairs that is specifically for my face and I got this one specifically for my stomach. Now that does not mean that you couldn't get just this single one and use it for both. Just make sure that you are cleaning it thoroughly before you are going from one area to the other. The next item that I'm gonna talk about, I talked about a little bit at the beginning of the video and that's red light therapy. This is a solo wave. You can see as soon as I touch it, she's already starting to go off. This is a red light therapy that you're gonna be using wherever you want to basically. I've been using this a lot on my face just because I know that that's what it's intended for. However, I want to start using it across my stomach, underneath my arms and on my legs. So I'm trying to do a little bit of research. I'm sure that I can still use this and just kind of you know go back and forth on my arms and it would be perfectly fine because it is rechargeable. However, I am looking more into, I know that there are also some red light therapy masks that a lot of people are using right now that also have a neck piece that will kind of cover this especially. I've also seen some red light therapy from Life Pro that I work with and I have worked with a lot on different gym equipment that I have and I really like Life Pro. So I'm probably gonna be grabbing one of their red light therapy that it's like a mat that I could use on both my back, my sides and my stomach or I could also lay it across my legs if I wanted to. Now, again, red light therapy is really working with a lot of things with your skin. And so I'm sure that's why it's so popular right now. I've seen a lot of red light therapy kind of ads on my Facebook for my local area, area, trying to get people to come in to do before and afters of their red light therapy treatments that they give as well. That is a, literally a whole body treatment that they do. The last thing that I'm gonna go over with everybody is this guy right here. This is called, you may or may not have seen this before. This is a Regisculpt and it's interesting. <laughs> so there is red light therapy with this as well. I'm gonna turn it on so you guys can see it. There is red light therapy with here. This cup that is right here, it comes with two different cups and it's going to suck on your skin. I'm gonna show you guys right here. It's going to suck up your skin and it's basically massaging it in there, if you guys can see that, against these little nodes or nodules that are in there, along with the red light therapy that's down in there. When you're ready to move it, you air release so that it does not pull your skin, and then you move on. And you will do each different section like this. And I've been using this underneath of my arms where I told you all that I, I had lost a few inches. And you guys can see there is markings on my arm, but it will go away in just a moment. It does not stay. One thing I will warn everyone though, just because this cup looks like it's for your chin, for your double chin right here, don't do it. 
This is a suction device. You are going to get suction like hickey looking things all over your neck. Don't do it, <laughs> okay? Um, I'm going to be using this. I, I've been using it on my arms down here just to see how it goes. I've actually seen some pretty good results with it, I think, so far. Again, it comes with mine, anyway, came with the Vitamin C Daily Booster, which is another one of those active ingredients that I talked about at the beginning of the video as far as helping with elastin and collagen. And it also came with this cream or gel that is called Sculpt. It is a firming tightening cream that has caffeine, liposomes, hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, apricot, apricot and ginseng in it. Um, I don't know if these are really doing anything as far as the creams go or if it is in fact the device. I feel like this part right here sucking up the skin and kind of like that fat layer and manipulating it with the red light therapy is kind of genius. Um, I've seen a lot of people on social media using these and doing the whole before and after and measuring before and after. I'm going to be honest with you all. I did not like strictly measure before and after only using this. As you can see, I've been using a lot of different products. I've been trial and erroring like, hey, does this really do anything? Does it not? But I am still using this. And because it's worked really well underneath my arms, I am going to start rotating it more into my routine on my sides and my stomach as well and see how that helps. So I will put links to everything that I've gone over today down below in my captions. The other thing that I'm going to go over, of course, every single week that I go over with all of you is what was my weight change from week nine into week 10 because that's what we're in right now. Last week to this week, if you guys remember, I had to go back down from my five milligram back down to my 2.5 milligram in my Zepbound because that is the only one that I could find or locate at any pharmacy around me. So last week was a 2.5 and then I also additionally took a 2.5 today as my week 10 injection and I'll show you all that in a video in just a moment where I injected it and how. Um, however, I lost 2.2 pounds in the last week. I'm going to preface this with it was 3.6 pounds on um, let's see two or three days ago and then I weighed today and it was only down by 2.2 pounds. So I don't know which one to count. I'm going to count the one that was today, even though I was really excited, like, hey, I'm already down 3.6 pounds, even though I had to go down to the 2.5. Whoop, whoop. You know, I was really excited. And then when I when I weighed today, it was only down by 2.2. So I'm still going to log the 2.2 because I've been logging on the same Wednesday every single week. And that's what I want to keep doing. Uh, however, I really think that I really lost the three point, I think it was 3.6. Um, so I'm still excited by that. I'm really excited that even though I had to titrate down that I'm still doing really well in this. And I do wanna just remind everybody that I am not just kind of just taking this Zepbound injection and then just kind of sitting and not doing anything else or not changing any eating habits. Um, I eat a lot of the things that dermatologists will tell you you need to eat to help improve your collagen and elastin. So I'm eating a lot of fish. I'm eating a lot of nuts. I have leafy greens. I also have berries. So there's a lot of different things that you can try to eat and consume as well to help your skin and your body kind of recoup and recover as well. I've been really, really, really into seafood for some reason uh, since starting these injections. And so I've just kind of been sticking with that, you know, shrimp, fish, mussels, lobster, whatever I, I can get my hands on. Um, I've kind of been sticking to that to try to get the added protein. I know before I also talked to you all that you can also drink bone broth Bone broth is a really great way to help with your collagen. I know a lot of people are gonna put down below like, hey, what about collagen supplements? I do not take collagen supplements just because there's a lot of kind of differing opinions about whether or not they work or you're just taking them and then they come right back out. Um, and so I feel like for me, the most natural way to help with collagen in my body is by drinking bone broth. I also have these. These are from PK Life. 
This one is a hyaluronic acid and, and uh, ceramides. And then this one is, it says it's for radiant skin and energy. And this one is green tea. So this is a matcha. It is probably, it is like a ceremonial grade matcha. And then coupled with this, it's supposed to really be great for your skin. I do drink these and then that still counts towards my water intake as well, even though I'm using these. Um, that may also have helped, uh, but I am really watching what I'm eating. I do work out, I'm walking, you know, I'm a mom, so I'm constantly running around the house anyway. And so I'm, I'm trying the best that I can to make all of these changes throughout this process as well, so that it's not just kind of me sitting like expecting this drug, um, to just do it for me. Um, so I'm really trying to do like my care teams are, do a whole like approach to this, make all the changes that need to be made with it. You know, that being said, that does not mean that when I come off the medicine that, you know, making, having made those changes are really going to, you know, keep the weight off. Cause I know there's a lot of studies out there about how once you come off the medicine, the weight's going to start coming back. And I understand that fully. I do. Um, but I'm still trying to make those healthy changes as much as possible. And I log what I eat on a daily basis. I try to get as close to hundred grams of protein every day that I can. I do not log carbs. I do not log, you know, um, really, I don't even look at anything else. I used to count carbs like crazy. Personally, I feel from going from having to count carbs and stay under a certain amount versus running towards the protein now, trying to get to that number has for me made a complete change in the way that my eating patterns have been and how I feel about food in general. I feel like when you try to restrict yourself from something, you don't have as great of a result as if you're trying to like run towards something and get to it. That again is just my opinion. Now, I also had feedback last week that they wanted me to break videos down into subjects instead of having much, much longer videos. So I hear you guys, I heard you guys, and you guys are gonna get two videos this week, so make sure that you go look for the other one in the link down below for the whole series. I am going to be going over obtaining a compound drug because last week I was told by many, many people that I had no idea what I was talking about because I had never gone through the process and I didn't know anything about compounds, la, 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 because I take the brand name and I am on the brand name. It cost me $25. Why wouldn't I try to keep sticking towards that as long as I can get it? Um, plus, as you all know, my doctors have both told me, no, we don't want you taking that. We only want you on what we have prescribed you. So I am going to wrap up our skincare video here, and then I'm going to go over and start the one about my process of obtaining the compound and all the things that I found. So if you're interested in watching that, make sure that you check it out down below. What I would love to hear from everybody today is what different products are you using on your whole body that you're absolutely loving? I would also love for you to put what you used that you thought was a flop as well. Tell me down in the comments below, was there something that you think that I should try that I didn't go over today? As always, I let you guys see my injection every single week. This is my week 10 injection. Again, the 2.5 milligrams of the Zetbound because that's all I could find last week. So I will be on that for a total of four weeks. I always use an ice pack when I'm doing this. Rumor has it that we are getting ready to get the vials instead of these handy dandy pens and then we'll be responsible for injecting ourselves if you go over to the zetbound website you will see that they have now updated their instructions for injections to also include that handy dandy vial down at the bottom always clean your spot off with an alcohol wipe make sure that it is completely dry before you inject otherwise it might sting a little bit you will want to place this down on your skin. Someone did tell me that it is recommended you place it on your skin before you unlock it because I typically unlock it and then place it on my skin. You will hit the button, wait for the two clicks, 
and then you are simply done. Make sure that you dispose of these in a sharps container. I always put the lid back on, even though it does say don't put the lid back on. I do before I put it over into my sharps container just in case. I do have littles at home and they might be trying to mess around. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next week on week 11. If you have things you would like for me to go over, comment them down below.